Welcome back. Welcome back to another lesson, another blessing. Uh, before we get started, I would like to request from you to subscribe to my channel. It's called Domestic Issues with the Counselor, Mr. James Horton. Today's lesson, and that's going to be on YouTube. Today's lesson is called The Ability, Ability is Crucial. Availability is crucial to our relationships. It's called availability is crucial to our relationships. So let's get started. It says, many doctors and humanitarian professors have studied and even written articles on how crucial availability is when it comes to children and their human development. One study stated that if children are born into the world and are provided milk, food, and all the nutrients that are required for a child's survival, but never get a human touch, a human hug, or any type of affection, love, or love, studies said that 90% of the time, the child will die, right? So it says that if we can get all the food, all the nutrients, all the, everything it takes, right, to fill our tummies and our stomachs up, and uh, all the liquids we need, but if we don't get that touch, we don't get that hug, if we're confined to a room and see nobody, 90% of the time, we, you, we will die. So it's important to get those affections and all those touches and things like that, the proper ones, that is. Okay? It says, um, <clears throat> please answer the following questions, right? It says, it says, uh, number one. When you are in a relationship, are you available or unavailable in most or all of the relationship you found yourself dealing with? Are you available or unavailable in most or all of the relationship you found yourself dealing with? Um, it takes, it's, it's a question because I'm trying to, as I ask these questions, to get on the inside of you. Not so much asking about what someone else is doing. Are you available? Have we been available? to those relationships <clears throat> are, you know, and what is availability to you? Is it money? Because you can send money from another country or another state or another city. Uh, you don't have to be there at all. So that's the, so, so just open it up, open you up. Okay, number two. Has anyone ever been in a good, healthy, steak and egg relationship and lost out on that good guy gave you chasing fast food in the street? Has anyone ever been in a good, healthy, steak and egg relationship and lost out on that good guy gave you chasing fast food in the street? Uh, to break that down, it's like <clears throat> fast food, man, is, is really not healthy for you. Uh, fast relationships are definitely not healthy for us. And, um, and so we look at uh, a nice home, old school country meal that mama or grandma and them cook uh, compared to going to McDonald's or going to uh, Burger King. And you'll find that you've eaten something unhealthy. And when you go out trying to find something because something might not be going right at the house or uh, you are been lonely for a while and you just picking up anything that you see at the club or hanging outside the club or what you saw hiding in the bushes, that's like fast food, you know, it's unhealthy for you. So um, has anyone ever been in a good, healthy, steak and egg relationship and lost out on that good guy gave you chasing fast food in the street? So be careful, all right? That goes for the male and the female, be careful, all right? Um, number three. When you get in a serious relationship with a partner, wife, spouse, does your family you've been raised up with needs come before the family you that you're in? I mean, when you get in a good, when you get in a serious relationship with a partner, wife, spouse, does the family you've been raised up with needs come before the family you're with as an adult? I mean, like. Um, it's interesting because a uh, little bit I know about the word. Uh, it says that a man and a woman, meaning uh, uh, speaking about relationship or whatever your choices are, 
it says that in the word, you know, in the writing, it says a man and a woman will leave their parents and go and make a life for themselves. So many people find themselves getting called from their family members, their cousin them and, and all kind of stuff like that. And they friend, friends and them. And when they with their friends and them, right, they be calling and talking about they need to borrow a thousand dollars and they heard you got some money. Everybody calling, right? Talking about feed them, feed them. And you know, sometimes, you know, your partner, your spouse, your significant other has some needs and, and yet these calls keep coming. So does your family needs that you grew up with needs come before the family you made, the, the family that God gave you, you know, your partner, you know, you, you got to pay your own light bill, you know, you can't be like trying to pay everybody else's bills and then pay yours last because you find yourself in the dark, you know, this happens, I'm telling you. All right, now, uh, number, number four. Does anyone believe being unavailable and unavailable to yourself and others in most of your relationships has caused you to be here during 52 weeks of domestic violence classes, right? Do you, do you believe being unavailable to yourself and others, right, has caused you, right? Because you can just be like way out there, you know, you're not committed to nothing. You know, you're not giving no uh, affection, you're not... Uh, uh, participating in the household duties and you know and it becomes frustrating and you know everybody else sees it but then you eventually see it and, and, and you wonder what's wrong with you well might be a few things wrong so you want to think about that um, number five do you believe being unavailable and irresponsible is beneficial to your life do you believe being unavailable unavailable and irresponsible is beneficial. Some people say it's beneficial. Some people say they would rather go to jail, right? And just sit there, right? Because they don't have to really do too much. You know, they don't ask you to do much. Your cellie might ask you to do something, but just think if you had your own cell. You don't have to clean up. You ain't got to fix the to rub the toilet. You ain't got to uh, wash the floor down with a towel. You don't have to do none of that, right? Because it's your own cell. But if you're in a cell with somebody else, especially somebody that's been there for a long time and ain't going on, uh, it's a serious thing to not participate and keep that cell clean. So, so you know, I mean, is it beneficial is the question. That's the question, all right? Uh, number number six. Is anyone here part of the 10% of not, the 10% or 90% children survivors who are now adults that have never been loved, gotten a hug, and have never been shown any real affection. Is anyone here part of the 10% or 90% children survivors who are now adults that have never been loved, gotten a hug, and have never been shown any real affection? Many people, man, I, I look at them and, 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 and some of them, man, I, I'm, I'm brought to a point where I go on and give them a hug because they be frustrated and it be something wrong, right? And, and, and they be really like, you know, uh, don't hug me because they ain't used to being hugged. They think it's something wrong. They think you're trying to pickpocket them or something. And, and you got to give them a hug, right? And, 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 and it's broken up some stuff, man. Many times when I've put my arms around a brother and I give him that hug, man. And uh, they be like, man, thank you, man. I said, thank you. You know, I tell them, I said, I might have needed one too. So, man, man, like I say, man, you know, this thing is a, a, a death threat. The lack of a hug could be a death threat, man. It can kill us. And if you don't kill us, just think how we acting when we have dead, right? Life is about love. The, you know, living is about being loved on and being able to love others, right? Okay, now, uh, number uh, number seven. Do you know individuals who were never given a hug and who were never shown love and affection as children tend to be violent and unloving adults? Tend to be violent and unloving adults, right? Man, the 
to something, right? Did you know individuals who were never given a hug, who were never shown love and affection as children tend to be violent and unloving adults, right? Okay, uh, number eight. The 13th chapter of Corinthians in the Bible is the love chapter. It says love doesn't hurt. It seeks no evil and believes no evil. It says without love, we are nothing. It says, the chapter says, the chapter also says, when I was a child, I thought as a child. I behaved as a child or even an unruly child. And when I became a man, right, that's a process too. When I became a man, I put away childish things, right? And so we got to put away, and when they say this chapter, when they're speaking and using the word man, uh, they're also talking about one man, right? Because one man is uh, uh, the other part of the man, right? So they're talking about both sexes. They're talking about all of us, y'all. So we got to remember, man, to be available, man, to be available, be, participate, quit Quit letting our brothers and sisters fall. Let's pick them up. Let's give them a hug even, right? Let's do something, man. I was thinking about an assignment to put us all on. And, and, and I can say it now, even because it's fresh on my mind. Man, we need to start. When we be talking about people and saying, ugh, look at them. Ugh, look at that person with their pants all down and this, this, and that. Man, we need to do something like once a month. If nothing else, once a month, that outfit you know you ain't going to never be able to wear again, that uh, 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 that that jumpsuit, them overalls you know you can't wear because you done got too big, right? And, and, and you know you've been having them in your closet. They just in the way you have no more room in your closet. We need to start taking something out and just finding somebody that can use them. Bring them on out, man. Let them put them on. They, you know, whether they want to clean up or not, at least they got something fresh on, man. This is a way to inspire somebody else. This is a way to get that hug, right, that I say we all need. So let's just uh, pull ourselves up, man, and do something, man, different, man. Let's try something different, y'all. Okay, that's going to be it for yours truly. Uh, uh, your domestic issues counselor, Mr. James Horton. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Push subscribe. Domestic issues with the counselor, Mr. James Horton on YouTube. Thank you again for attending my class.